All right, this will be a quick video showing you how to use OpenZD and HAProxy to deliver an OpenZD overlay network using one and one only port. I'm going to use the quick start. You can install OpenZD however you like. The most important part here is the HAProxy stuff, so let's get right into it. You can see I have a GitHub uh, repository where I put all of my stuff like this. And this is in the HA proxy folder. So you can see I'm in the HA proxy folder. Go ahead and clone the repo, get the scripts however you want to get them. Inside of here, you'll see there are three scripts or two scripts and one config. One will run our HA proxy. So if we take a look at run HA proxy, you'll see it does use Docker. So if you don't want to use Docker, then feel free not to. It also uses net host. I'm going to be escaping the Docker environment and coming back to my OpenZD overlay network, which I'll be installing on the base computer itself. So that's important. Also important is the open uh, the HA proxy config. If we take a look at the HA proxy config, we'll see the most important thing inside of here is the front end binds on port 5443 using mode TCP. And then if the SNI uh, request SLL style SNI if it matches HAP for HA proxy controller or HAPER for edge router, it'll send it to the edge router or the controller accordingly. The controller will be running on 10.443. The router is running on 11.443. All right, remember those two ports. So let's go ahead and run HA proxy. And when we do, we'll see HA proxy tell us there's no backend server available. That's fine. Taking a look at the install OpenZD using a quick start, you'll see the first thing it does is it pulls down the ZDCLI functions and sources it so that it's on your path. Obviously, you want to read that script before you run this. There's a base DNS entry. Update this for your particular base DNS entry, and there are some ports that are parameterized but didn't that you'll need to change. Notice 10.443 for the controller, 11.443 for the edge router, and then it will run the express install. Let's go ahead and get this cooking because it does take a second. I'll use HA proxy test as my password. You can see that echo to the screen right here has been overridden instead of using the generated one. And now what it will do is the quick start will go through and create the OpenZD PKI. This is a delicate process. You must get this correct. This is why I have included the little install from the quick start helper guide. So you can see the variables that you need to set if you're going to use the quick start. All those variables are reused in the Docker-based installs, and I believe in the um, deployment-based installs as well, so they should be relatively common across all of those. This does take a moment, and uh, let's see, we're waiting for it to finish. I'm not going to go through the full quick start. I'm going to only use the quick, quick, quick start, which is just having it configure the PKI and create a script. And now I can start the controller. So let's go ahead and start the controller. If you're interested, you can look at the logs. I will start the router. Notice HA proxy notices it's back up. Oops, I will start the router. When I start the router, you'll see HA proxy. Notice the router comes back up whenever that decides to make that check. And then uh, in order to verify that everything works, the ZDCLI comes along with a new ZD ops verify traffic command that is actually very handy. Um, if you had sourced the install script, which I was supposed to do, then you'd have the proper variables on your path and the ZD ops um, verify traffic command will just work. Now you'll notice when I go through and I run this, we see the verify traffic succeeds. Everything is happy. We have a successfully running HA proxy based OpenZD overlay network all in what, five minutes, however long this has been. All right. So if you're interested uh, in taking a look at, at the scripts further, again, go back to this URL, github.com, dovelocknf, OpenZD scripts, HA proxy, have a look at them. And if you have any questions, come and visit us in the forum. And that's it for now, OpenZD plus HA proxy, all in under five minutes.